Okay, um, we're going to look at some hyperbolic integrals. Here we have one where we have the integral of dx divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x squared, and everything is multiplied by 4. And first thing we're looking at it, hopefully it will make you think that, well, the uh, hyperbolic secant of x, that's 2 divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. And if I had this squared, that would be 2 squared or 4 divided by this squared. So this integral here would just be the integral of the hyperbolic secant squared of x, which would equal the hyperbolic tangent of x plus a constant. No problem. But suppose we look at this, we didn't make this association, and we just sort of plowed it and wanted to see what we could do to solve this integral. So we have 4 times dx divided by e to the x plus 1 over e to the x squared. And that would equal 4 times the integral of dx, and this would be e to the 2x, plus 1 divided by e to the x quantity squared. And this would give us e to the 2x down here in the denominator, which I could take upstairs into the numerator because we could um, inverse, take the reciprocal and multiply. And so that would give me 4 times the integral of e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x plus 1 quantity squared dx. And now it looks like this might be shaping up to where we could try a uh, UDU type substitution. Um, let's see if we if we call this u, du would be e to the 2x times 2, so that should look out for us. Let's see where we write this. We have 4 e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x plus 1 squared dx, and now we're going to say let u equal this. Equal e to the 2x plus 1, so du equals 2e to the 2x dx. But what we have here in our integral is actually 4 e to the 2x dx. So if we have 2 times du, that would equal 4 e to the 2x dx. So we can rewrite the integral now with our new variables. 4 e to the 2x dx, that's the integral of 2 times du and u is this so here we have u squared down here in the denominator or we can write it like this now this is to the minus 2 
you screw it down here, you to the minus two and we take it upstairs. Now we integrate, we add one, so this is u to the minus one divided by minus one, so that will put a minus two here, and u equals this, so we have minus two over e to the two x plus one. So, right now the way things stand, we're, we claim that the integral here, e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x plus 1 squared dx, that equals minus 2 divided by e to the 2x plus 1 plus an arbitrary constant. Now, that certainly seems valid, but before we claimed it was the hyperbolic tangent of x plus a constant. Are these equivalent statements? Um, let's just look at this expression here. We have minus 2 divided by e to the 2x plus 1. That's this. And you see if we mark now here's where we have to use our imaginations a little bit. If we multiply this here, um, say by e to the minus x, that would give us then e to the x plus e to the minus x. And now we're starting to get hyperbolic functions, or at least what appears to be hyperbolic functions. Uh, into our expression. So let's see. If we multiply this by e to the minus x, then I have to multiply the top by e to the minus x. So we're multiplying by 1. So here then, this equals minus 2. And here we have e to the minus x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. And this right here, if that was divided by 2, that would be the hyperbolic cosine of x. But it's not, so that means that this right here is actually 2 times the hyperbolic cosine of x. So, let's see what we have. This here then is equal to, this divides out, we have minus e to the minus x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. And we can modify this further. Remember from our introduction video with hyperbolic functions, e to the minus x, that's the same thing as the hyperbolic cosine of x minus the hyperbolic sine of x. We have a negative. e to the minus x is the hyperbolic cosine of x minus the hyperbolic sine of x. We discussed that, or actually proved that, in our introduction video, the hyperbolic functions. Multiply q, we have hyperbolic sine of x minus the hyperbolic cosine of x divided by the hyperbolic cosine of x. In this, that will be the hyperbolic tangent minus 1. So, here then, we're getting this is the hyperbolic tangent of x minus 1 plus an arbitrary constant. But this is a constant, and this is an arbitrary constant. So we can lump those two together and just say it's the hyperbolic 
tangent of x plus an arbitrary constant, which is what we had up here. So it works out okay. Um, we obviously went the long way around solving this problem here. If we just realized from looking at it that it was the hyperbolic secant squared, the answer would pop right out. We kind of went through this little exercise here just to kind of get more experience in working with these exponentials and hyperbolic functions in general. Um, but that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos, and um, we'll see if we can solve some more problems.